game one. I was hopeful, optimistic. This is going to be a fantastic experiment. I'm going to meet new people. I will learn about the different players of GTA Online in a new way. Mingle in a community that I feel so estranged from. And luckily, I found a friend. I got in his car. Hopefully, we would go on an adventure together. He killed me. A business battle. Yes, a perfect way to resupply my nightclub. I don't need the money, but it will be fun. Yes, fun. A Kanjali crept up on me and killed me. Game 3. The excitement of the last lobby seems to have gotten to me. My character has shat himself. Or a mother has done something to me. I quickly learned to adapt and found the right way to move around with this newfound ability. Game 5. One final attempt for a business battle. Surely, this will end better. I snuck up on the car, but from the corner of my eye I saw something. My god. A B-11, a Hydra, another one? Is this the prophecy? Has the invasion of the Trihards finally begun? So I quickly investigated and saw something that shook my very core. Hydras falling down from the sky, a graveyard of tanks, a scene shrouded in mystery. I fear I will never know the meaning of all of this. Game 9. It was time for a social experiment. A grinder moving his business battle product. How would he react if a Mark II oppressor would fly above him? He got scared, started shooting around frantically, and I left. Until he killed me. I cried. Game 15. I found a lot of commotion downtown and a mysterious man behind his beautiful billboard. I sensed great danger, so I shot him clean in the head. But he started morphing and he came towards me. A true horror show. What is even happening? And I died. Game 16. I loaded in, got ran over by an NPC, got a $5,000 bounty on my head within 5 seconds. Game 21. I was stuck in the clouds for what felt like an eternity. Luckily, it was only 25 minutes. Game 26. Again, a lot of commotion, a laser griefing two poor players, a large explosion, and surely it must have been their demise, but I was wrong. And it struck me. I opened fire, but unfortunately, once again I met my demise by two mothers. Game 34. I've had about enough and decided to take it out on a poor player. I grabbed the drone, shock droned him. He got upset and tried to break in, but failed over and over and over. I laughed and I felt happy again. Game 42. I was flying around on my Mark II oppressor when a wild laser came at me. I felt confident, powerful, so I faced him head on, rocket after rocket, and so he fell prey. I celebrated, tears in my eyes of joy. I have succeeded, won a great victory. And I cried again. Game 47. In order to succeed, I had to become what I feared and loathed the most. And so I faced a horde of griefers, whipped out the old trusty minigun, and whooped all three gang banging griefers with one shift strike. Infinite power, I yelled. Game 48. I was stuck in the clouds and had to reload the game. Game 49. I was stuck in the clouds and had to reload the game again. Game 61. It was time to become the griefer. So I saw a poor player in the cargo bob, rushed towards him using the Mach 2 oppressor speed glitch. Little did I know, the Mach 2 travels faster than the rocket you shoot. So upon firing my missile, I killed myself. Game 62. It was time to become the hero. I saw a lot of people in danger. The Luxos, the Kanjali harassing the poor players in this lobby. So I took it upon myself to harass the Kanjali into passive mode and destroy both the Luxos. I felt like Batman on a broomstick. Na 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 broomstick. Game 68. I saw a wild Deluxo. Instead of attacking it, I tried taming it. I thought I made great progress, but the Deluxo went wild and I unfortunately met my demise again. Game 71. A player tried to promote his nightclub with three Mark II oppressors in the sky. It was truly a sad day. 
Game 73. I accidentally started a one versus one versus a try hard. I got whooped and I cried. Game 82. I saw another player trying to do a gun running shipment. I wanted to help, so I gave my mug to a presser. It rolled down the mountain. We both cried. Game 88. A fully loaded Runer 2000 was on the hills, so I tested my mug to a presser against him. He killed me three times before I killed him, and then I whooped his ass into oblivion and beyond. Game 90. A new organization was running a shipment, so I decided to help him. A griefer tried moving into them at highest velocity, so I took him out. They were wary with me around. They wouldn't believe what they saw. A friendly player on that horrible device. They made it. Tears of joy ran down my face. Game 93. I was stuck in the clouds. Game 94. I realized this game is indeed quite pretty. Damn, what a view. Game 98. I was on my way home when I got griefed by a Mark II oppressor. Game 100. Went to celebrate in the strip club and I wondered what my life has become. Please end me. Mm -hmm.